Hi, my name is Kevin Jans. You probably all know me. Welcome to uh, one of the screencasts for the Skyway Connection community. Today we're going to go over usaspending.gov, that website. So let's go there first. That's my homepage. USA, look at that, pulls right up. All right, so the first thing to be aware of, ta-da, there's the site, usaspending.gov. And I talked about this in the uh, Target or Forget It webinar. Actually did some screenshots and then did a screencast of it and then I kid you not, the next week they updated the site. So I'm redoing it now based on the new the new uh, site. Same information. It's again, we'll, we'll zoom out for a second. For those of you who haven't sat through that webinar, and by the way, you can go back and look at it in the March. It was the March webinar. So anyway, it's in the community. Go back and look at the webinars, you'll see you can watch it. It's recorded. It's a recorded screencast. But to save you the time of doing that, basically what USAspending.gov is is it's where all of the data, okay, not all, most of the data for federal spending goes. So for example, there's this thing called a, a contract activity report, a CAR, a C-A-R, that contracting officers, contract specialists have to put in on every contract action. And granted, the computer system does it. If you're with the Department of Defense, it's done automatically. So this is the large majority of the data about where the government contracts are awarded, who they're awarded to, etc. I would say 90% of the funding is going to be covered in here. Not everything, obviously classified contracts aren't in here, and very small purchases aren't in here, but a lot. So for the purposes of understanding what's your target market, who, what contracts does your competitor have, all those kind of things, they're in here. So the first thing I wanted to tell you, so that's essentially what this is, and I'm going to walk you through it so you know how to use it. The first thing in here is that is that the uh, you, you need to adjust the size of the screen, otherwise it doesn't come out correctly. So let me show you what I'm talking about. When you blow it up like that, I just did a, a command plus to zoom in and it looks funky. So if it looks like that, just hit a com command minus and it will shrink it down. Because it, it, it adjusts to the, see how it's, it's getting smaller? And it, it adjusts to the size of your screen. So just FYI, <laughs> saves you saves you 30 seconds of figuring that out. As Once I figured that out, it was a lot easier. So anyway, here we are. So on this homepage, this is the homepage, you can see right out of the gate, you can roll over your state. So here we are down in Florida. Of course, the darker blue is, is more uh, is more awards. The dark blue here, here's here's Florida, 58 billion. That's a B, by the way. And this is just in FY15. Okay, so we're just getting started. So this is, well, okay, six months. That's half, half of FY15. I'm thinking, these aren't in real time. I'm thinking they're within probably a couple of weeks, maybe. I mean, let's let's not make any major sweeping decisions based on the fact that, that the data weren't updated yesterday. But the point is, this is pretty recent. This is a lot more recent than anything that's ever been available for, wait for it, free before. I mean, this is this is the stuff that a lot of companies, to be honest, will charge you a lot of money for, and it's right here for free. So, for example, you can see California, for those community members who are in California, it's $92 billion is spent in California. And I'm not going to go through it right now, but if you click down here, you can go on the spending map, and you can sift through there to your heart's content and go down to them. You can put in recipient name, meaning the company that won the contract. You can put in the zip code. I'm going to go with the searchable part. So I'll, I'll let, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just click on spending map, and, and you can see, whoop, there we go. Click on the spending map down here, and you can see where the where the contracts are awarded, who won them, etc. We're not going to go through that right now because that's honestly pretty self-explanatory. So what I want to do is walk you through how to use the search tool. Now the way to do that, you go up here to advanced data search. All right, so we click there and kaboom, there it is. Now here's the cool part. Here are all the different options. I'm just going to scroll down. You can see there are lots and lots of things to decide on, okay? So to give you a basic understanding of how this works, the first thing you want to do is are you looking for contracts or grants, or loans, or other financial assistance, right? I would say most of the time you're looking for contracts. And by the way, you have to only pick one of these, otherwise it won't let you search by more than one fiscal year. Think about it, it's a database thing, because every time you add one of these, like there are probably more grants than there are contracts, honestly, and there are a huge amount of financial assistance transactions. So when you add more and more of these, it, the database gets enormous. And so your return, all the information it gives you, gets bigger. So what they do is they say you can only pick one of these at a time. So we're going to pick on contracts, all right? So if you only pick one, then you can pick more than one fiscal year. So for the purposes of walking through this, this exercise, we're going to go with 15, 14, and 13. So the last, what, two and a half years, essentially. Now you can, you can sort this by contracts under 5 million, 5 million to 500 million. I mean, you can adjust it accordingly. I personally... You can sort it afterwards, so just stick with the view all unless you really are looking for a specific thing. Specific thing.
So you can put in recipient name, you can put in their DUNS number, we're not going to bother with that for now. You can put in recipient state, which is where is the company that won the work from, which if you want to know that, if you want to know who all your competitors, contracts, companies around you who are winning work, just go in here and pick the state. Heck, for that matter, you can go over here and pick the congressional. Well, you got to pick the state first. Hang on, pick Alabama, right? And then you can pick the congressional district. So you can, if you want to go talk to your congressman and say, "Hey, why is this company winning more than me?" I, I don't know why you do that, but you can. My point is, the data is here, and it is. Wait for it, free. So the next thing here, and we will pick on this, is place of performance. To give you an idea of the of the specificity you can get, we're going to pick Florida. What this means is the place of performance is this is where the contract was performed. Again, you can pick the congressional district, but we're not going to go down that, that far in the, in the weeds here. So we're looking up contracts that are awarded in Florida. You can also go with the, the agency. So in this case, because, I don't know, just to thin the herd, we'll, we'll pick Department of Defense. Of course, when you pick Department of Defense, you also end up with bureaus. So now you have all of the different pieces, all of the different agencies. All, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like you really could get down to the Nats eyelash and, and pick just the Office of Civilian Health and Medical Program right here. But let, let's not do that. Let's just leave it at the DOD level, contracts awarded in Florida, and we'll go from there. Okay, now we're into, on this side is contracts only, this side is assistance only. We're just focusing on contracts for now. And honestly, 90% of the people watching this thing, this is what you care about. So we're going to look at small business set-asides, just because, again, we're trying to thin the herd, and we can always thin it more later, but let's just let's make this simple. Small business set-asides... Contract type, you can put in here cost plus award fee, cost sharing, firm fixed price. We're not going to mess with that yet, but understand that you can filter it that way if you wanted to. We are going to go over here and use full and open after exclusion of sources. What that means is small business set-asides under FAR, FAR Part 6.2 FAR Part six point two is essentially, this means it's full and open competition after you exclude large business. <laughs> That's really what that comes down to. So in other words, this was competed as a small business set-aside. You can still have small business awards that were won in full and open competition. In other words, the small business beat everybody else. But for the purposes of trying to figure out how best to use this tool, I want to show you let's sort by things that were competed under FAR 6.2, which is small business set aside. You can also do not non-competed delivery order. You can do not available for competition. You can not compete. Lots of things. Okay, Not competed under SAP. In other words, those are the ones that are small enough that they were just awarded based on past performance and, and knowledge of the company. Lots of different th versions of doing this, and honestly, I, I wouldn't doing. I'm doing this this web this what's this called screencast. <laughs> I'm doing this screencast so that you're familiar with what this thing can do. I'm not trying to create a you know a two hour webinar that walks you through all the things that you may or may not care about. Because if I show you how to do it, then you, you can sift through this to your heart's content because you'll see what it what it can show you. It's actually pretty cool. So then again, to thin the, thin the herd of the data, let's look at service contracts. So we'll scroll down to services, professional services and technical services. So what this is referring to is a NAICS code. So these are all NAICS codes that start with 5-4. So 54641, 54, 546, wait, 541, whatever. Lots and lots of services. But in other words, just lopping off the construction and the public admin and the real estate. And so depending on what industry you're in, you could pick any one of these in, in transportation Pick the one that makes sense for you, or unclassi un unclassified <laughs> establishments, which is going to be a mishmash. You can do lots of things. Again, to, to just show how the process works, I'm going to use professional services. And we'll, we're not going to use the, the uh, PSC codes because we're, we're going to get enough data without doing that. So now we hit the submit button. And look how fast that is. Crazy fast, right? It, I'm pretty impressed. It used to take five seconds or so. Now, I mean, that was I didn't cut that out of this video. <laughs> it was instantaneous. It's pretty cool. So it shows you out of now. Here, here's your here. Here was the filters. And again, if you watch the targeting uh, webinar, the screen the screenshot looks a little bit different because that was the old model. Here's the replacement of that. And and someday I'll redo the targeting webinar. But you get the idea here. So what did we filter this by? FY15, FY14, and FY13. Performance in Florida. Department of Defense, won by a small business, competed as a small business set aside for professional scientific and technical services. That's a lot of variables we took in there, right? And we still ended up with 4,643 transactions worth $872 million. Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> so, And here they are, by the way. Oh, gee, that's a lot. All right, well, let's thin the herd a little bit. So we go back. 
we change our filter. Let's take, let's lop off FY13. So we, we chopped off a whole year, okay? Let's also go down here to contracts and let's take, let's, if, let's assume you're an 8A firm. So much more specificity now. We took off an entire fiscal year and we said it, this is, had to have been performed by an 8A firm. We get hit submit again. Well, it dropped them by a lot. I mean, it lopped off, what, 90%? But it's still a big number, it's still 320 transactions over the last well, year and a half, effectively, and it's $75 million in awards. Okay, well again, we can see, here they are. Here are all those transactions. Let's, and again, I, I apologize if, if you're 3E consultants, <laughs> I don't think we have a member who works with that company, but this data is open to the world. I'm not trying to be cryptic here. I want you to see, this. these are the real data. When So we click on, let's click on this one right here. It opens up another screen, and here are the transaction details. Now, full disclosure, guess what? You have any government, con you have any government contracts? All your competitors can see the same information about you. So let's not pretend that, that you know, I'm, I'm showing you into a peephole nobody else can see in. Understand this information is available about everybody. That, that's the whole, welcome to the level playing field, okay? The first thing is, what is the amount of the contract? Well, there it was. We knew that was 209000 because, let me go back to the other screen here. On this screen, you could see it right here. 209,914. But that's all you can really see. Oh, by the way, these are prime contracts. Okay? You notice that we didn't sort, we didn't get into the subcontracts. So look, total sub award, zero. So we're not even getting into that, that, that process. We're just talking prime contracts. But you can see a, a relatively small amount of data on this screen. So it makes a whole lot more sense to go to this screen. And we can see there's the obligated amount. Well, who purchased it? Well, Department of Defense. In specific, the Department of the Navy. And here's the real fun part. This little thing right here, this is called a DODAC, which stands for, I know we got acronyms for everything, right? Called a Department of Defense Activity Address Code. So that six digit alphanumeric code stands for a specific contracting office and stands for Navy 69450. That's an actual contracting office. So for example, H92222 is the Special Operations Command contracting office I worked in. That's the actual office where the contract come out of. So when you know what this NAICS code is, and go Google this NAICS code and it's going to show you. I mean, again, this isn't, you don't have to pay for this information. It's it's right there on, on FBO, on the Fed Business, the Fed, Federal Business Opportunities page. Then, well, let's, what else can we learn? Contract information. Here's when it was awarded. It's a delivery order. It was firm fixed price. Contract or, oh, here you go. Contract or information, by the way. Here's the contract or the out of Orlando. What congressional district are they in? I mean, all this stuff is there, right? The place your performance was in Jacksonville. And so that, that's an indicator of, well, that's the zip code this happened in. So you'll see that it was awarded in this congressional district because this is the company, but it was performed in this one. Now, remember the data that when we searched, we said we want to know what's performed in Florida. We could have said we want to know what's performed in this congressional district, and this one would have come up. But it, it depends on what you're trying to do. I'm just trying to give you a, an understanding of how much, how much specificity you can get. Here's what, here's what actually was, was bought, architectural engineering services, landscaping, interior, layout, and design. This is not a bundled contract. Uh, it was not IT products or services. Uh, you can get very into the weeds here, okay? And here's my favorite, competition information. Number of offers received, six. That's pretty useful to know, and right there it is. Now, here's the fun part. This is a delivery order, so it could mean Again, you have to you have to be paying attention and get into the weeds a bit more. That could mean that this was awarded because it was a, a full and open or full and open after exclusion of sources. So it was a small business set aside that was competed and awarded to six companies as an IDIQ, indefinite delivery, indefinite quantity, and then that was competed among those six, and then they won. Or it could mean that it was a delivery order that they they were the only winner among the six companies that bid, and it's their contract. It, you have to dig into the weeds to get more on that. But the point is, all that information is here. And by the way, you can see that you know it was an 8A competed right there. Now you know that it was set aside as an 8A competed. So in other words, are we competing 8A contracts or are we giving them giving them as a sole source? Well, in this case, it's competed. Again, you know all this stuff. And here's a real fun one. And again, I'm I'm, I'm not going to call out certain companies that charge a lot for this lot for this information. But here it is. You want to know the revenue and the employees of this company? Now, granted, they self-certified this, so this is their data. But honestly, other data, other data aggregators are pulling it from the same place. So functionally, they're a small business with nine million dollars in revenue and forty-three employees. 
and this information is free. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, legislative mandates, that's not really going to apply. <laughs> and then uh, executive compensation, this is a clause. Again, I could do a whole other screencast on this, but executive compensation clause applies to certain contracts, and the contractors are required to say how much the salary of their top five executives are. Doesn't apply to this this particular contract, so that's why it's not. Uh, it's all zeros. So let's go back to this screen. Go and I, all I did was go back to the main USA spending site. So let's let's walk through how this works again. Just just to, to recap for you, I'll go back to the homepage. And by the way, one more thing. Sorry, you can download the results here. You click on download, and it will give you a giant spreadsheet. And this well, not giant. In this case, only three hundred twenty transactions. But depending on how big your database is, you can end up with a huge download. So then you can get into the individual, like I'll tell you the address of the contracting office. It will tell you the the, the zip code of the, a lot of the data that we looked at on the other page will be in a, in a spreadsheet that you can use. Here's the important thing to, to learn from this. Big data is, is good and bad news. There's a huge amount of, of information in here. You could really drown yourself picking up too, informa too much information, which is why I included this in the Target or Forget It webinar, is that once you decide what your target is, then use this tool to filter out, or for that matter, to look up your co competitors, or to look, okay, let me be less cynical, to look up companies you can team with. If you want to know who the company that has the contract now that, and for a contract that's going to expire in two years, this is how you find that out. And then you call them and say, hey, this is what I want to, This is, I think I could be a good team teaming partner. But whatever your strategy is, decide what your overall target market is in your regional market and your weight class, and again, go back and watch the webinar, then use this tool. Because if you just come in here and start looking for, hey, what are the 80 awards in Florida? As you can see, it's a giant number, and it's almost too big to be able to be useful. Going back to the beginning, let's go back to the USA Spending homepage here. And again, here's all the stuff on the, on the individual states. As you can see, the data in here is... This is just for FY15, by the way. This is updated. I'm sure it says in here somewhere that it's updated, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to read the whole site to you. But I want you to understand the first place to go for what, what you're trying to do is advanced data. You can get into the spending map. You can get into agency profiles. You, you can get into a lot of other stuff. It's very educational, and, and there's lots of useful information in here. What I would recommend people use it for is that advanced search, search tool. If you have any questions, post a question in the community and share it with, with all, of them, all the members so we can all learn this together. That's the point of the community is this is a community asset now that you can view whatever you want and you can share with the rest of the community members and we can and, and when this thing gets updated and as it gets more and more robust we'll, we'll do another screencast but this is enough to get us rolling in the meantime have a great day and thank you for being a community member bye